Hi guys. So I changed my route um, after the big storm hit last night. And everyone, while I was standing in the, in the um, hardware store where I took shelter, they uh, started talking to me about how dangerous the road is to Pongola and that it's really not the best option to take. So, so I decided to change the route. I'm heading the other way to a town called Paul Petersburg um, first. It's only about 56 kilometers away. So I should be able to reach that today and then just go further after I get water there. I can go a bit further as well. And after that, there's another town. Um, that's only like 15 k's or, or 30 k's um, further. So I'll try and sleep somewhere in between those two towns. And um, then move on to the coast from there. The only thing is now I'm not going to St. Lucia at all. Um, I'm also missing Richards Bay completely. I'm going to end up kind of in the middle of Richards Bay and Durban which I'm actually fine with. Richards Bay is a very industrial harbour city um, and I'd rather just avoid it completely if I can. So uh, that's the plan. I might decide to go sightseeing in Richards Bay sometime. Um, but I'll decide that when I get to the coast. I want to get to the beach. That's kind of my goal for, for the next few days. Um, I'm about 200 and something kilometers away, I think. So I can do that in three days, uh, maybe four if I take it slow. And we'll, we'll see how it goes. Because I'm going to have a very long day when I leave the, the second town from here. Between the second town and the third town, it's about 100 k's. Um, so I want to be able to recycle that in a day, get as close to the next town as I can in, in a day, so um, I'm rested up. I spent two days with video editing and uploading. Um, ironically, my, my leg muscles are a bit stiff now, um, but that'll, that'll sort itself out soon. I'll just keep cycling and it'll, it'll sort itself out. Um, so yeah, that's the plan for now. I'll keep you posted. Hi right, guys. There are monkeys in the trees just up ahead. I want to approach them slowly and see if we can maybe catch a glimpse of them on camera. They were crossing the road and that's how I saw them. Um, but obviously as you approach they'll hide themselves. So I want to see if we can catch a glimpse of them. Hi guys, I'm, I don't know, about probably 15 to 20 k's outside um, Petrativ now and my chain is squeaking. So I'm just gonna, just quickly gonna uh, brush it off and, and apply some lube um, just to be sure that it's still okay. I don't want to have any problems later on. Um, I've eaten um, some leftover hot cross buns. I had two hot cross buns um, left over from, that I bought yesterday at the library or at the shop next to the library. So I just ate that for breakfast and uh, yeah I'll probably I'll, I want to cook something proper um, like a big bowl of oats or you know something like that or pop and gravy but obviously there's no fires and it's because we're back to you know those foresty areas so fire is prohibited here and the big truck Anyway, just gonna quickly loop the chain and then keep going. Hi guys. Just made it up a, a steep uphill 
got a nice downhill waiting for me. Nice view as well. Of the valley below. Anyway, it started drizzling on that side. On the uphill because of that cloud there. Which is also above me. But I just kept going thinking that I'd probably get through it faster. Um, it's just a light drizzle, it's nothing serious. So kept going and it stopped now on this side. You know, just after I crossed the peak of the uphill. Yeah, so I'm gonna enjoy this downhill now. I'm a bit tired now. My hands are numb. This is gonna be enjoyable, I think. So anyway, oh there's the drizzle again. Let's get going. Hi guys, see that sign? It's kind of the first indication that this uh, municipality ends. Um, just around the bend in the front there, there's going to be a river, the Pongolo River. Once I cross that, I'll be leaving Mpumalanga and entering KwaZulu Natal. I'm actually quite happy about that because while Mpumalanga does have certain attractions, um, most of which I, I didn't see, it wasn't, didn't form part of my route. Um, the foremost thing it has is mines, trucks and power stations. So once I leave, there will be significantly less trucks. I mean, I've already seen it on, just on this road alone, there's significantly less trucks um, passing me by and I mean just to cycle from uh, Petra to, to here where I am now is um, it's been quite quite pleasant actually there's a lot of uphills but um, there are a lot of uphills but it's not impossible uphills and every big uphill is followed by a very nice long downhill so it's actually been very nice cycling all the way from there to here and i'll hope it continues that way my hands are numb from all the downhill you know pushing yourself back and applying with brakes but other than that i'm, I'm still going strong and i'm quite enjoying it actually and there's almost no trucks at the moment so that's always a bonus anyway let's uh, cross that border and bought a portion of slop chips and a half liter of milk I just ate that it was so good anyway I need to keep going just sleep somewhere between here and the next town but I'll find a spot I'm not too worried what are you Anyway, let's keep going. Hi guys. Just struggled with the out of an uphill. But anyway, I'm at the top. I just wanted to show you the view. Check this out. Thank you. 
Ooh, eh? Anyway, let's keep going. Hi guys, just gonna go exploring to see if this is potentially camp for tonight. It's an old lumber road here, but I don't know how, how frequently they can actually come through, or if anyone actually still comes here. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if this road doesn't get used. Um, for a big, better part of the year, maybe they'll come through once a year and check on, on the trees, I don't know. Do they need to check on the trees? I don't actually know anything about um, tree plantations and stuff, but I would reckon the trees just do their own thing. Anyway, I'm going quite deep in. A bicycle is still next to the road, way over there. But I don't want to be seen. And that's quite important. I mean, the further away I am from the road, the less noise there is, firstly, and the less likely chance that someone will come see me and potentially disturb me. Okay, I think this looks like a pretty solid spot. I set up camp right in the middle of the road, somewhere like here. And hope no one comes by. That would kind of suck. But anyway, I don't have much of the footage you can see because of the lighting. It's not a lot of light. But anyway, I'm actually extremely tired, so I would very much like to race now. It's been quite a rough day. Those trees are bending in the wind, so are those. And they're all thin like this, it's quite concerning actually. Because one of them might just break and fall on me during the night. Especially when they're leaning that way. So I'll pick my spot based on how the trees lean, I think. It's not going to be as soft asleep as the pine forest because there's no needles on the floor. There's these weeds and stuff in between the trees and I can't sleep there so I'm stuck to the road. And obviously the road is, is not soft, it's quite hard. So I'm going to end up sleeping in something like this maybe. I don't know, we'll see. Anyway. I keep hearing noises in the top of the trees. It's probably just the wind brushing the trees up against each other. But if there's monkeys, I need to know so I can get all my stuff out or off the bicycle that's, you know, loose or available for them to steal so definitely don't want them to do that but anyway i think this is going to be camp because i'm anyway too tired didn't cover much distance today but i covered enough i think as long as i do above 50 a day um it's more than enough i'll get where i need to get eventually because i do have a hard day coming soon when i'll have to do about 100k um, between water points so that would have been today on the way to Pongola but I changed my mind and put two more closer towns into the route and I'm completely skipping Pongola but anyway it's enough of my rambling I'm gonna sneak the bicycle in here and then um, 
and then see what happens. This thing just fell out of a tree. I don't know what it is. Looks like a, a pod of some sort for a worm that's in metamorphosis or something. What is that? Alright guys, so I set up camp between let me, let me get, yeah, that tree and that one. All the other trees on that side are leaning downhill and most of the trees on this side are either leaning that way or like that one that way the only one that could really fall on me is that one in the middle and he's it's not leaning at the moment so I should be fine yeah camp set up pretty early today um, that's because I don't have to cook or anything next to the road before I enter the forest um, I, I have a can of baked beans that I'm gonna eat later um, so I don't have to worry about anything else and I'm hidden from the road they can't see me from the road because I'm so deep in so all in all I think it's going to be an okay night I do need some some rest so I'm gonna head into the tent and uh, read a bit until about eight ish and then eat I don't want to eat too early because then I'm gonna be super hungry when I wake up and I want to pedal a bit before before I eat breakfast. I want to get a few kilometers um, under the belt. So I'm going to eat late today to, or tonight. I'm going to eat a bit later um, just to allow myself that extra bit tomorrow morning. Extra bit of time before I have to have breakfast. Anyway, all in all, it's a very quiet, peaceful setting I think there's not a lot of birds anymore they'll probably be here in the morning there's a few still chirping here and there but very few then there's still a sawmill or something moaning off in the distance but I can I can barely hear it if I didn't know there was a sawmill nearby I wouldn't have known that's what it was would have probably thought of some kind of monster <laughs> but anyway so I'm gonna head in I took just about everything off the bike except the side bags and uh, locked it up just in case there's there's monkeys in the trees that I can't see because they tend to hide very well and uh, if they do want to steal my stuff you know everything out that's there it's just the bottles basically that's loose everything else is tied down so anyway i'm gonna head in and say good night catch you tomorrow